Welcome to your weekly news recap, where we bring you the top stories from around the globe. This week, we're diving into travel updates. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have made some noteworthy changes to their travel risk categories. Interestingly, no new places were added to the high risk category this week. Kenya has been downgraded to low risk, while Azerbaijan has ascended to high risk. It's crucial to note that level 3, with over half of the monitored locations falling under it, is currently the highest risk level. This week, Jordan and Sint Eustatius have joined this category, while Morocco and three other destinations were transferred to level 2. In the realm of the unknown risk category, Malawi has made a debut this week. Stay tuned for more updates on travel advisories and risk assessments, and remember, your safety is paramount. In light of the recent travel updates, let's delve into some travel safety tips. As we navigate the complex landscape of global travel, it's crucial to remember that transmission rates are just one piece of the puzzle when assessing personal risk for travel. These rates, while important, are part of a larger context that includes elements like your destination's precautions and your planned activities. Now let's talk about vaccinations. Vaccination is the most significant safety factor for travel. It's not just about protecting yourself, but also about contributing to the global effort to control the spread of the virus. So if you're planning to travel, make sure your vaccinations are up to date. Next up, testing. It's highly recommended to get tested before boarding flights back to the US. Should you test positive, it's vital to adhere to isolation guidelines to prevent further spread. This is not just about your health, but the health of those around you. Let's not forget about personal considerations. Every traveler is unique in their medical circumstances and risk tolerance. It's essential to take these factors into account, along with the precautions in your destination and planned activities. CNN medical analyst Dr. Liana Wen offers valuable insights on travel risks and factors to consider. According to Dr. Wen, being informed and prepared can significantly reduce the risks associated with travel. That's all for this week's recap. Always stay informed and safe. For more updates on global news, tune in next week. Until then, take care.